Indiana's <laughs> Medicaid system is still short nearly $460 million, the estimate from officials as the state does begin its new budget year. News 8's government reporter Garrick Berkowitz explains why those numbers could continue to shift. This is the first time since the pandemic the state has been able to close out a budget year with no significant pandemic-related financial impacts. Indiana ended the 2024 budget year with more than $2.5 billion in reserves. Nearly half of that is in the emergency fund. The biggest question mark is still the Medicaid fund. The state's bookkeepers estimate it fell short about $255 million this past budget year. We will discover probably in the next month where we actually land uh, for fiscal year 24 with Medicaid expenditures and if it was close to that 255.2, um, we have no reason to think it's not going to be. Medicaid's numbers look even worse this year, nearly $458 million short. Those numbers are why parents of about 1,600 children with serious disabilities are no longer able to get reimbursed under the attendant care program. The Family and Social Services Administration tightened the rules for the program in order to cut costs. That could change the math before state lawmakers come back in January. We do not do what budget people call dynamic scoring to anticipate any corrective, the results of any corrective actions. Now, this December's forecast, they will take into consideration some of the actions that uh, FSSA uh, uh, has taken and factor that into uh, their, their forecast. And so I would imagine that 457 is going to be a different number. Which in turn will influence lawmakers' budget negotiations and any long-term changes to Medicaid programs such as attendant care. Habig and Johnston say now that the economic and regulatory pressures from the COVID-19 pandemic have passed, it's going to get easier to estimate Medicaid's funding needs. The conversations have uh, been ongoing and they'll, they'll continue uh, going right into the next uh, budget session. Uh, and as uh, I think we mentioned, in addition to a revenue forecast, there will be a new Medicaid forecast in December. We expect both of those forecasts will be released sometime around the middle of December. That will be not quite one month before the 2025 legislative session begins. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.